The real miracle of childbirth is its power to unite even strangers in the celebration of life. Despite the ominous beginnings, the four of us worked together in perfect harmony. We put aside our personal agendas and fears, focused only on the hope that a newborn brings. Push. I need you to push, Amy. I barely maintained consciousness during Janelle's C-section, but I stayed afloat that night, even managed to be helpful. Joan coached Amy along, pushing her through the pain like only a big sister could. Don't you dare give up on me, Amy. You're a willet. You can do this. And Arlen, he did the most important thing of all. He held Amy's hand. You're gonna be okay, babe. Everything's gonna be okay. Thirteen hours after labor began, we were rewarded with the most heavenly sound. It was a girl, a beautiful girl, and she was just as normal as the moon in the sky. I'm so sorry, babe. I don't know, God, even. I never gonna leave you out of the angel again. Amy decided to name the girl Joan, and Arlen happily agreed. I only wish Mom and Dad were still here. They'd be so proud of you, Amy. While Gwen ran through post-op procedures, I was elected to spread the good word. I told them the truth, didn't embellish a word of it, but it wasn't what some of them wanted to hear. It was like they wanted to know the future of mankind was hopeless. Well, it was a regular walk in the park, wasn't it? She confessed she was just as scared as everyone that something unnatural would be delivered. I've got to find another way to test them. Without a sonogram, no mother should have to go through what Amy did. She was going through all the same struggles as me, so I offered her some advice. That so many things are out of our control. Much as we want to, you just can't save everybody. Not alone, anyway. You really are a saint, aren't you? Doctor! You gotta come quick! Didn't take Gwen long to deduce that there was something still inside Amy. Something that wanted out. Twins. It, it must be. Russell, we'll need more compresses. 